look, we need to concentrate on the main things. As far as I'm concerned, why I'm here tonight is mm. there's a crucial moment when this government, and I'm not criticising my Prime Minister, I'm mm. not doing that, but nonetheless, just to show I am not, as it were, starry-eyed, I am deeply worried that the proposal the government um, has promised to make regarding banning trophy hunting yeah. imports has not yet seen the light of day. Well, let's it be quite clear on that, because I agree today. with you about trophy yeah. hunting. I think it's a disgusting thing, and it shouldn't be allowed to happen. Boris said he was going to get rid of it, and he hasn't. So he's gone back on his word. Well, it's... To in, you? No. Stanley. <laughs> it's in the, the word. It was the word as it appeared in the Conservative Party manifesto. And if you ask the government about it, the government says firmly, we are still committed. But have you committed. talked to him privately about this? I don't go into what I say privately mm. to my son, and I wouldn't expect him to say what he says to me, mm. you know, on air. But nonetheless, on this sort of thing, I would prefer to speak out loud to you peers yes. in the privacy of this studio, yes. if you see what I mean, and yes. say the government has to move on this, because I don't want to say... And for those who private... haven't followed the, the, uh, this whole saga, what is it exactly, you and a lot of signatories to a letter, want to get what done? OK. Trophy hunting is still massively practised all around the world, and by the way, British sportsmen are massively involved in trophy hunting, and we have a time when endangered species are truly endangered. And we've got the animals, we've got... Uh, 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 zebras, lions and rhinos, lions, and they're all... Rhinos. I agree. They're all, they're all there. And yet people are still getting prizes from the Safari Club International, you know, for killing 100 different species of animals. And people are paying $50,000 to fly Absolutely. in from America, from Absolutely. Minnesota. Yeah. We saw the Cecil the Lion. Absolutely. Uh, you know, so uh, I want the government to really deliver on its promise to bring in this law banning the import of, 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 of trophies. And also, I want the government to push hard now on this other thing, which is again in the manifesto, mm. which is to do with animals abroad and the fact that British tourists are going off in huge numbers mm. post-COVID to places like Thailand and India and other places where animals are abused for spectacles and entertainment, particularly Stanley, we have reached a point of agreement, although I would point out on trophy hunting... Yeah, look at this. It's look at also that. a prime example of your, of your son saying one thing and not doing it. No, he has got every chance to do it. That is the point. If he's watching this programme, what's your message well, sure to him he, about trophy sure, hunting? Sure, he watches, watches you every, every day. Well, he never comes on it. Well, I can't speak Tell to that. Tell him to get out of the fridge and get on that. here. I can't speak to that. But I am, <laughs> I am convinced that environment remains a top priority of this government. Mm -hmm. Climate change remains a top priority. Biodiversity remains. And animal species okay. is there. You've got a great new book out from an antique yeah. land. You've written how many books now? Uh, this is my 25th. Unbelievable. Where yeah. do you get the energy, you Johnsons? No, I don't have any energy at huh? all. No, no, no. It's relentless, it's, isn't no, it? No, it's very nice of you to say. No, that is a thriller. That is a thriller, and it's all to do with what happened in Cambodia in 1975. I look forward to reading it. I like all your books. The, I wanted to show you a, a bit of footage. This is of a, cock, uh, a cockerel in Turkey. This is a moment, Stanley, where I think you and I, probably Boris as well, have a moment, don't we, occasionally, when you just want to do this. Watch this cockerel. You're sure that's not the you're sure that's not the call <laughs> It's not the famous but, Johnson mating call, I, no. I think it could be the call of the Muet scene if it comes from Turkey. <laughs> Watch the end, though, Stan. You see what happens at the end here. It's going, it's going. Now, the last time, the last time I saw a magnificent beast like that doing something similar was when <laughs> you came on Good Morning Britain and we got you to do a handstand. Do you remember this? Oh, come on. I do remember. It's really sensible. Yep. Oh, oh my oh, goodness! Oh, oh, <laughs> one, one again, one again. No, that's enough. One more. <laughs> um, I've got him! I've got him! Oh, there he is! Oh All goodness. the money! There he, oh my God! His money's falling out! <laughs> well, <laughs> let me get you down gently. And what Stanley. I meant to say to you then is, I <laughs> always like to put my money where my mouth is. <laughs> <laughs> I failed to say it then. I'm happy to say it now. Stanley, it's great to see you. Uh, as always, an effervescent presence. And you are a cheater. I've got to tell you, Piers. You know, you lured me in here. It was a bit like Cecil the Lion. Are you you lured me in I'm, here. A, I'm a trophy hunter. I lured in the well, trophy. I don't, think, I don't think I'm a trophy. You know but what? Anyway. There's nothing wrong with defending your son, by the way. And we got to talk about trophy hunting yeah. and your book. And I showed you doing a handstand. The words <laughs> you're looking for, Stanley, are thank you, Piers. <laughs> Good to see you. See you all, folks. Tell Boris to come in soon. We'd have fun. <laughs>
<laughs> Cheers, Daly. Good to Cheers. see you. I think he's going to get Morris out of the fridge. Get him on the show.